Understanding Snapchat's IP Address Tracking Hello, everyone. Today we'll be exploring a topic that often raises curiosity among tech-savvy users, the accuracy of Snapchat's IP Address Tracking System. Let's dig into how it works and to what extent it can be relied on. What is an IP address? Before we delve into the details of Snapchat's tracking, it's vital to understand what an IP address is. An IP, or Internet Protocol Address, is a unique identifier given to every device on a network, including the Internet. It allows data to find its way to your device from anywhere in the world. How does Snapchat use IP addresses? Snapchat, like many other internet services, uses your IP address for several reasons. The primary ones include providing location-based services, enforcing security measures, and implementing regional restrictions. However, it's essential to note that while an IP address can provide a general location, it's not precise. It usually pinpoints the city level, but even this can be off, depending on your internet service provider, ISP. How accurate is Snapchat's IP address tracking? While Snapchat does use IP addresses as part of its location services, the accuracy is not absolute. An IP address will provide a general location, such as a city or region, but it's not going to give a street-level accuracy. Also, factors such as using VPNs or proxies can affect the accuracy of the location derived from an IP address. Can Snapchat track exact location? For more precise location tracking, Snapchat relies on GPS and other device-level location services, not solely on IP addresses. Features such as Snapchat's SnapMap use the GPS of the device to provide exact location details, but only if the user has allowed Snapchat to access their location data. In conclusion, while Snapchat uses IP addresses as part of its process to provide services and maintain security, the accuracy of location tracking based on IP address alone is limited. For precise location features, Snapchat turns to GPS and device-level location services. It's crucial to understand these dynamics for privacy considerations and to make informed decisions about the permissions we give to our apps. We hope you found this discussion enlightening. Stay safe and savvy in your digital world.